Tesla shares rare look at Cybertruck's giant updated windshield in a new video, revealing the secret behind why Tesla's vehicles are so quiet. Friends, you're about to see uh, some uh, that video and some of the latest information in a recently released new video by Tesla that discusses how Tesla vehicle glass is designed and how it benefits Tesla owners. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell and give us thumbs up so you don't miss our next video. So we're here in Los Angeles at our Glass Technology Center where we make all the prototypes for all of our vehicles. And to give you a real life example of the acoustic performance of our side drop, just roll up the window here. And to give you an idea of how comfortable the experience is in our vehicle. So as the designers first sketched the Model Y or S and X and 3, they just sketched the glass from the front of the vehicle all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And we spend a ton of time making sure that each glass position is the right curvature, is the right size and shape in order to give that seamless approach. One of the coolest things that we've done is incorporate acoustic side laminated drops across every vehicle at Tesla. So what this consists of is a glass sandwich. You have a glass outer and a glass inner and in between an acoustic dampening layer for road noise, wind noise that the, the customer will experience and make the inside occupant feel quieter. So what we have here is a 2% tint we use on roofs and, and things of that nature. We combine that with uh, different types of thin films that have properties like solar for reflecting uh, radiation. And we'll combine that with uh, a standard PVB that has uh, different properties. Some have acoustic properties, others have solar properties. So we have to be very uh, careful on what we choose uh, to go into the vehicle. As we look at these large pieces of glass, safety is a huge consideration. So we work with our exteriors, our closures team on making sure it is very safe for our occupants. For things like rollover, roof crust testing, then we go into the thermal aspects to make sure it gets the best thermal performance. The roof itself absorbs 99% of the UV radiation coming in. So it's amazingly safe, even though you have this large open experience inside your vehicle. So across all of our vehicles at Tesla, we have a suite of autopilot cameras here in the front of the car, looking forward through the windshield. So in, in a sense, our windshield is becoming a lens in front of the camera. And we focus on things with distortion as well as working hand in hand with our autopilot team on functionality, heating function, as well as diffraction of the images that are coming in. And I would say it's part of the way that we're leading the industry and setting the standard for autopilot functionality and the glass quality that's required. So when Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck in late 2019, Elon Musk brought out a prototype of the vehicle that featured flat panels every Everywhere, from its thick steel body to its massive glass components, the truck's windshield was a great example of this as it was just a massive flat panel of thick glass designed to weather the worst that the road can offer, not, Sim not Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radio. He says the Tesla CEO has since teased a number of improvements coming to the all-electric pickup truck, while Elon Musk stated that the production version of the Cybertruck would look very similar to the vehicle's controversial prototype, he did state that some adjustments have been made to some of the pickup's components and features such as its door handles and steering system. Interestingly enough, a patent application from Tesla published last month hinted at a couple of other updates that are coming to the all-electric pickup truck's design. As per the patent and its specific illustrations, Tesla seems to be exploring the idea of using new glass forming techniques to provide the Cybertruck with an updated windshield design, one, of, uh, one that is not as flat as the glass used in the pickup's prototype. The patent also hinted that Tesla is looking to use glass for the Cybertruck's dashboard. This updated windshield appears to have been revealed in a recent video from the company, Tesla's official YouTube channel recently went live with a video that you just saw explaining the information innovation that go into the glass panel used in the company's vehicles and while most of the video seems to be focused on the model 3 and model Y glass components a brief section of the video featured tesla workers moving a massive piece of glass that is not used in any of the company's production vehicles today uh, simon alvarez from tesla notes that the unique glass panel in the video was 
massive, easily larger than the glass components used in the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y. And while the glass seemed to be large enough for the Tesla Semi, it features a section for autopilot cameras that is very different from those used in the Class 8 truck. Instead, the section of the glass allotted for autopilot camera is very similar to those used in the Cybertruck prototype. There are some advantages to Tesla not using a flat pane of glass for the Cybertruck's windshield. A non-flat panel of glass generally takes damage better as they do not cave in as easily when stuck with road debris or other objects. Tesla's updated windshield for the Cybertruck still looks quite similar to the glass panel used in the prototype too, so the aesthetics of the vehicle should be kept consistent despite its new glass component. Friends, let me know what you think about this video and what you think about uh, why Tesla vehicles are so quiet. A, complete, a completely flat uh, windscreen could reflect the sun towards oncoming traffic. If it is behind the car at, at twice the angle of the windscreen and blind them, uh, the reflection of a slightly curved windscreen um, would be just a narrow line with only a fraction of the total intensity. It makes sense to curve it even if uh, just for that reason. Um, also, a completely flat windshield will uh, will dish in slightly over time and air pressure, making it perfect for focusing the sun at the, uh, at the night distance, blinding them even worse. So friends, let me know your thoughts on these things. Um, so this is also the secret behind why Tesla's vehicles are so quiet. Now, you know that the future Tesla Model 3 vehicles may run on Michelin airless tires at the IAA Mobility Car Show in Munich, Germany. Um, French brand Michelin presented its new airless tires. The Michelin Uptis took uh, the road for the first time in public on a mini electric car. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus SR Plus already comes with Michelin Primacy MX M4 tires. Will Tesla adopt these revolutionary new tires for the Model 3? Model Y and eventually Cybertruck too. Um, let me know your thoughts on this, friends. So this was an exclusive experience for some selected members of the public who had the opportunity to take a ride and test this revolutionary tire. It is worth mentioning that the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus SR Plus already comes with Michelin Primacy MX M4 tires that have a tread wear rating of 500, a traction rating of A, and a temperature rating of a 500 AA minus, which should get around 40,000 miles at a reasonable cost. The advantages of this type of tires are clear. First, you can never get a flat tire by a function of a blowout. Michelin says uh, that some 200 million tires a year arrive at the scrapyard early because of them. Second, you don't have to keep an eye on the tire pressure that doesn't only save you time. It eliminates it's all premature wear caused by deflation. Its internal radii are adjustable to meet desired performance characteristics. Its stiffness can be individually adjusted under acceleration, braking, cornering, and for handling bumps. Pothole handling characteristics can even be adjusted to eliminate the need for an independent suspension in some types of vehicles. Holes can be drilled through the thread to allow water to escape, potentially creating much greater resistance to hydroplaning. It takes less raw material and less energy to make them, uh, which makes them better for the environment. And Michelin has estimated that they will last up to three times longer than a controversial tire. However, it is clear that it's not been easy to market. 16 years is a long and difficult time and labor for a product that clearly attracts interest for people. The tweet Michelin first announced the tweet in 2005. The name is a combination of the words tire and wheel because the tweet doesn't use the traditional wheel hub um, assembly. A solid inner hub mounts to the axle surrounded by polyurethane spake around the pattern of the wedges, which replaces the entire wheel assembly. It has long been, it has long been available for various off-road vehicles, but has yet to hit the road. Now, um, 
adopt Uptis, this tires, this product is a complete wheel solution that requires specialized tires. Michelin claims that it will withstand much greater impacts than a normal tire and wheel and that it will have a spectacularly longer service. Now, what do you think, friends? Will Tesla adopt these revolutionary new tires for the Model 3, Model Y, and eventually for the Cybertruck? It may be possible because they already have relationships with uh, Tesla. So let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a great day and I'll see you soon in our next report.